Hi, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another tutorial slash get ready with me. I figured that at least one video a month would be me just kind of practicing or trying something different or using a palette that I haven't used in a while. One of my favorite things about other channels was watching different different makeup tutorials or things like that and it's something that I wanted to keep doing for my channel since I don't see those as often anymore unless it's with a review. I really like reviews and stuff still but I just wanted to film a video every month of me just kind of playing around and trying out different stuff or maybe using up stuff that I haven't used up yet. First thing we're going to be doing is using primer. It will focus. I'm going to be using primer today on my face first. We're also going to make sure, I always try to prime my face. I know some things say you don't really need it if you have good skincare, but even with good skincare, my face is still not really that great. So I usually try to make sure I prep my face before. So that way it's all nice and ready and it's not irritating. My skin is really sensitive so I like to make sure it's nice and prepped so there's no irritation. Just let this sit in. I know I mentioned in my um, get ready with me last month that I like to do my eyes first and not my face first because sometimes you have fallout or you mess something up and instead of having to redo my entire face I like doing my eyes first and then my face so any mistakes that get on my face are I can just kind of go over with my makeup. For my next step, I'm going to use my Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. I got the, this with one of my Ipsy bags and it's absolutely my favorite eye primer. Tried a NYX one before but it was kind of sparkly and could see the sparkles in your makeup look and I didn't always want sparkles but I got like I said I got this with an ipsy bag and it's absolutely my favorite it's the same color as my skin tone it just kind of lightens up my eyes a little it definitely makes it a lot better when you prime your eyes Today's palette that we're going to be trying to use is ColourPop's Frozen 2 palette. This is what the outside, the front side looks like. The back looks like. And the inside looks like. Today I'm going to be using the colors Awaken and Spindrift and I made sure I brought my brushes up with me so we're just gonna put Spindrift on this inner inner corner just kind of swoop it out a little It ended up being more so the inner part of my eye, more so than the inner corner, but we're going to take Awakened and just kind of 
outer corner here and go inwards. Kind of pull that in. on our own outer corner and pull it in. So we also have some sparkles called Flurry. I'm just going to take my brush lightly and back a little bit onto my eye. sparkles on there now. Next I'll be doing my eyeliner and currently I'm using Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner for my eyes. I'm going to use the mirror on my palette to help me out here. Just go right in on my waterline. Today we're using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara for my, my eyelashes. This is one I got in my Ipsy bag. Next we're going in with Morphe concealer and concealing some spots. I'm in the color C1.55. Usually try to get under here and under here, right there a little bit. Here a little bit. Next, I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and just blend it out a little bit. Next, we're going to go in with my foundation, and I'm currently using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. We're just going to sit here and blend this out as best as we can. Just keep blending. sure you get it along here as well. Try to match it nicely. Now that my foundation is all blended out, we're going to do my eyebrows and currently I'm using Benefit Give Me, Give Me Brows. I just usually kind of swoop this over my eyes a little. I usually don't do very thick eyebrows. I just kind of fill them in a little bit and that's it. Just kind of take this and go over it like that. Fill them in so they're all nicely filled in. 
Today for cheeks, we're also going to be using one of my highlighter, uh, Ofra highlighters. I actually got this in an Ipsy bag too. Super shiny. It's the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Glow Goals. I'm just going to take a small brush and just go over like this. I usually don't go all the way over my cheekbones. I just kind of do it a little bit and then fluff it out. And the same thing on the other side, just kind of a little bit and fluff it out. Last but not least is lipstick. We're going to go in with some Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Pink Ice. Just gonna kind of 